What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and just as I think that there is nothing left in the gaming industry to completely blow my mind, the internet comes along and proves me completely wrong. So, if you've been watching this channel recently, you will have noticed that we have been looking into really advanced physics simulation uh, engines. And one of the previous videos that I put up recently was this really talented programmer from Sweden creating this this voxel-based physics engine, and it's it's really cool and it's it's really detailed. But I, I kept going down that rabbit hole, and I I started looking into what is just the most cutting-edge experimental physics simulation that that any studio is working on and after exploring a whole bunch of of different technical papers and concepts i came across this this is a system called continuum damage material point method and it is built specifically to allow for dynamic fracturing i i know that's a mouthful but essentially what this means is this system simulates every single point within an object not just how it reacts for you know no basic uh, systems like gravity or or speed or velocity this is actually simulating uh, material components like stretching and tearing and ripping <laughs> look at this this is insane <laughs> this is absolutely insane and this is again Keep in mind, this is just the most cutting-edge stuff that is out there right now. Um, will this be in a game tomorrow? I have no idea. Probably not. But, like always, you can rest assured, if you see something like this now, maybe in the next few years, five years, ten years, who knows, as technology continues to advance, maybe you will start seeing this level of detail in games. We're already doing things that people thought previously were impossible. That that voxel-based physics engine that I just shown. If we if we were to even have suggested something like that six years ago, I'm sure there would have been a lot of people coming out saying, oh, that's completely impossible. And it's the same here. This is the beginning of potentially a whole new era of physics simulation. I want I want you to take a look at this again, by the way. So this is a um th this next this next scene, hold on, let me wait for it to get there <laughs> past the, the smashing pumpkins scene. Great great pun by the way. That is a bullet. That is a bullet. Now it's funny because you know they're not using like a human body or like an arm or anything, right? Like it's just a little gelatinous T Rex. But I get the point, right? Like I get what they're going for. This is a bullet ripping through a gelatinous material. Very similar, very similar to like a body. It's it's kind of like the same material that uh, people use in in gun videos in order to show show what like a bullet would do to a body if a bullet were to pass through a body and this is the level of I mean, this is this is just at a point where this is just frightening like this is just terrifying to have to have this level of detail look oh my god <laughs> oh my god that's oh and, and here's the here's the breakdown look at every single just molecule getting shredded oh god I mean, I know it's just like a gelatinous T-Rex, but God, <laughs> just imagining, just imagining what this would be used for in the future just completely blows, blows my mind and scares the bejesus out of me. Um, but you can do all sorts of things that were previously not, not really uh, possible in previous physics engines. Like, this is no longer just simulating, like, is something going to break, or, like, how fast is it going, or, like, you know, is it affected by, like, the forces of ga gravity. This is, this is simulating, you know, like, how long until something tears in half. You know, like, look at this, this bread, like, all of the different fibers of the bread, all of the different little strings of of wheat are just are ripping 
exactly how you would expect a real piece of bread. I mean, this is going to... The, the, the gameplay potential for something like this could introduce completely different things. I mean, obviously there's going to be some people there that are like, oh, what if you put it in Call of Duty or something like that? And like, I, that's, that's something, with, with anything like this, I feel like that, that kind of stuff, if it comes at all, comes way later. I'm thinking more of like in the immediate future. Whenever you have a physics engine like this, or like physical concepts like this that are prototyped, usually the first game that comes out using something like this will be a, a game where the mechanics revolve completely around the physics uh the physics engine you know so like if you were to look at games like um like Osmos. Uh, there was a game way back in the day called Osmos that, that kind of showcased like gravity and orbital mechanics, very simple, very specific. Or or other games like um I'm trying to think if I can think of other games that are are, are very where the, the physics I I don't know, Angry Birds or something like that. There will always be some specific game where it just showcases those mechanics. And I could foresee a game in the future where something like this actually is is a major game mechanic you know like if you if you for instance have like let's say like a like a a like a skyscraper building game or something like that where you you build it up and then depending on the 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 forces of stress exerted on that building you know maybe like the steel could rip in half or like the building could collapse on itself in with with incredibly realistic detail um or maybe a super gory game where it's just you just shoot somebody <laughs> like god oh look at that oh that's terrifying oh my god it's so fascinating though Oh, look at this. Look at how this just rips in half. Oh, that's so cool. Um, or even like a Jello game. Like a Jello game where you're a worm and you like burrow into the Jello. I have no idea. I have no. I have absolutely no clue what could come of this. But it is really cool. So if you want to look into it yourself, this is called Continuum Damage Material Point Method. Uh, and there is a couple of studios that are working on some concepts that are are fairly similar so we'll have to see if this continues propagating into other stereos in, into other uh studios or into other um other concepts uh, other games other things like that we'll just have to see but it is really like this is absolutely just cutting edge so if you if you ask oh when is this going to come out for a game or something like that i have absolutely no idea but it is fascinating it's absolutely fascinating um i'm sure that there's a lot of opportunity and and use for this outside of games as well i'm sure this could be used for all sorts of different uh simulations of 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 other forces or factors that uh maybe different companies or even governments would be interested in, in using for a variety of purposes but it is very it is very interesting Oh my gosh, look at that. This is the way, the way, hold up, I want to go back, hold up, look at this. The way it rips the, the tail off every single time is just like so, it's it's like, it's a T-Rex, right? But that's just so brutal. Like, look at it, just passes through and then watch, it's going to rip the tail off. Oh god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, hold up, Let's look at that again. That's just so brutal. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, that almost makes me, like, cringe just a little bit. Just look, it looks so painful, right? Look at this. Oh, oh. You even make, like, a Jurassic Park game where you have to go around and blow up dinosaurs. God. Oh. Mm. You know, imagine if Maximum Action had this for the characters. <laughs> it, would, it would be so much worse. Ah, oh, oh. God. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to show this off. I found this recently. It looks so cool. It completely blows my mind. It terrifies me a little bit as well. I'm just thinking about the games that could come out like this. Um, but it's so fascinating. It's so interesting. It looks so cool. It's, oh, I, it's very exciting. So that's it. If you want to check it out for yourself... Please do. There's a variety of videos and, and, and technical audio articles that you'll probably find. Be aware, though, at this point, there's no fancy... There, there, this, this video is probably going to be 
the the most you know entertainment focused video like everything i've seen about this it's very academic fo focused it, there's a lot of technical papers a lot of details information it hasn't really entered the realm of entertainment as of yet even though it's really really cool so just be prepared to to get your nerd hat on if you want to explore this yourself further but it is very interesting and as always, I like bringing these kinds of things to you. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next one. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you stick around. Press that subscribe button. Lots of other videos coming. All sorts of different things that I'm really excited about that I can't wait to share with you. And I'll see you again soon. Okay, uh, remember Blue Jack loves you. And don't uh, die. That's always good advice, right? Don't die. Like, it's just... Is that creepy? That's not a creepy thing to say. Like, that's just... I mean, that's good, right? Don't die. Like, that's... Don't do that. That's good. That's not weird, right? That's not weird. That's a good way to end a video. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, bye!